coming up on today's episode of AMA Drone Report. Google's Wing Aviation receives FAA Air Carrier Certification. Meta Vista breaks a world record for multi-rotor UAV flight time. And a missing elderly man is found with help from drones. Welcome to Airborne's AMA Drone Report, a weekly news program covering the recreational drone world. In partnership with the Academy of Model Aeronautics, one of the oldest and most respected aviation organizations in the world, with more than 200,000 members and 2,400 clubs across the country. I'm Sophie Herlock. The FAA has given their first air carrier certification to a drone company, Google's Wing Aviation. The certification paved the way for the company to begin commercial package delivery in Blacksburg, Virginia. Wing joined forces with the Mid-Atlantic Aviation Partnership and Virginia Tech as a participant in the Transportation Department's Unmanned Aircraft System Integration Pilot Program, an initiative to accelerate the integration of drones into the national airspace and to help the department and the FAA create rules surrounding drones. The certification allows for drone delivery of food, medicine, and other small consumer products. Wing plans on reaching out to the local community before it begins any deliveries in order to gain feedback for future operations. Now let's take a quick look at a few short stories making rounds of the small UAS and hobby drone communities. It's time for our Drone Minute. The AMA Foundation will host the Friends of the Foundation Fun Fly at the International Aero Modeling Center in Muncie, Indiana on September 13th through the 15th. Modelers from all disciplines are welcome to attend. Pilot registration is $40 and includes three days of flying, dinner on Saturday evening, and a swag bag. Ocean Alliance and DJI have partnered up in order to help save the whales. Through the use of Snotbot, a modified drone which flies through the blow of a whale to collect snot on petri dishes, researchers are able to non-invasively collect biological information on the whale, such as DNA, stress and pregnancy hormones, microbiomes, and other indicators of the animal's health. AUVSI will host its annual trade show, Exponential 2019, on April 29th through May 2nd at the McCormick Place in Chicago. The event will host over 700 companies from more than 20 industries. It will also showcase groundbreaking technologies and the next generation of ideas. Drone Workforce Solutions announced the launch of a digital database that connects certified drone pilots with business, corporate, and government partners from around the world. The pilot portal is now available and with the click of a button, drone pilots can receive information on potential clients and job opportunities. If you're an FAA certified drone pilot interested in setting up a profile, you can do so at droneworkforcesolutions.com. And that wraps up our drone minute for today. The South Korean company MetaVista broke the multi-rotor UAV world record flight time. Using a 6-liter liquid hydrogen cylinder and Intelligent Energy's 800-watt fuel cell power module to power the UAV, they were successfully able to fly the UAV for 12 hours, 7 minutes, and 5 seconds, beating the previous record of 2 hours, 6 minutes, and 7 seconds by quite some time. The difference in flight time demonstrates the impact fuel cells could have on the commercial UAV industry, breaking through the limited flight time constraints of traditional batteries. A 77-year-old man who deputies say has mental health challenges is now safe after the first drone rescue made by the Collier County Sheriff's Office. The man was missing for more than two hours after he wandered away from his home. Six drones were used to aid in the officer's search for the man, and in a little under of an hour and a half of the drones being deployed, the man was spotted through trees walking between a house and a garage. The elderly man was medically checked by first responders and returned home unharmed. Back in 2015, the Collier County Sheriff's Office became the first law enforcement agency in Florida to be certified for drone use. And that wraps up our show for today, folks. Airborne's AMA Drone Report is presented weekly in cooperation with the Academy of Model Aeronautics. If you would like more information on the exciting hobby drone world, check out modelaircraft.org.
Thanks for watching, and I'll see you right back here tomorrow for an episode of Airborne Unlimited.